Hi, David Campanile here, owner of Campanile Law, located in the state of New Jersey. We handle estate planning and probate. Today's topic uh, is three reasons not to leave your child an inheritance. But before we dive into that topic, if you want to schedule a free consultation with me uh, to discuss any estate planning or probate needs, contact me at njestateattorney.com. You can send me an email directly at david at campanillelaw.com or above or below, there's a direct link right to my schedule. You can schedule a time with me right there. Uh, so today's topic uh, sounds a little weird. Why would I tell people not to leave their child an inheritance? Um, but these are three, I feel, legitimate reasons that you should contemplate uh, something a little different, a trust, or some sort of other way to um, protect your children. Um, because this is about, at the end of the day, protecting your legacy that you want to leave to your children. Um, and at this point, I'm talking of like a financial legacy, um, not of like a family legacy. But um, so topic one is leaving money to leaving an inheritance to younger children. Um, they are not as uh, responsible or as smart. Uh, with their money. Money management is not really something they are big on. Um, and the people that you could point a finger to for the best example are athletes. Most athletes go broke after two years, of, uh, two years after retiring from their sport normally. Um, and we are told that they spent money on all these luxurious homes and these cars, bottle service clubs, strip clubs, you name it. Um, that's where they lost their money. However, it tends to be they took on investment opportunities that were very, very risky that they didn't have a lot of information on and they got scammed out of their money. Um, so that tends to be a reason why uh, athletes go broke. Now, when you leave your child so much money, they kind of can fall prey to the same thing. Uh, they can get investors, uh, people who... Uh, feel they have a great idea and try to get an investment opportunity out of your child. Um, they could spend the money however they want because remember, this is going to your child, no strings attached really. Um, so we're trying to kind of protect the child from themselves. Um, number two is the number one creditor in America. And that would be Divorce. I bet you guys were thinking Uncle Sam for a minute, uh, but no, that would be divorce. Now you're saying, David, what do you mean by that? Well, if you leave money to a child and that child is married and commingles that money into the marriages funds, that becomes joint property. Therefore, if there is a divorce, now your inheritance is going to part of your inheritance that you've left your child is going to go to that former spouse something that you don't want, something you want to protect your child from. So there are ways in trusts to uh, create that because if held in a trust, then since it's not the child's asset, the inheritance cannot be attacked during, the mar uh, during a divorce proceeding. So just something to really think about. It is a creditor. Uh, divorce is a creditor. And the last Term, last reason would be uh, bankruptcy and lawsuits. These are another way that children uh, could potentially lose their inheritance. Um, and what do I mean by that? If a child gets a lump sum payment of funds um, and they have to file bankruptcy or they get sued, that money can, can get attacked. That money would be liquidated to pay creditors in a bankruptcy or in a lawsuit. They may have to pay that money out to if they lose at trial. Um, so trust management, uh, a trust would really protect them because in bankruptcy and in a lawsuit because it's not their money again. It's kind of like the similar version of a divorce. It's not their money. They only wreak the benefit of the income that that trust generates. Um, so I understand this video and the title. You guys are saying, probably asking yourself a lot of questions. Don't worry, I'm not saying um, that a trust trust is going to work in every, every situation. 
Um, if you have questions or comments, you can leave them below. If you want to speak more about your specific um, situation, please do not hesitate me hesitate to contact me at njestateattorney.com. You can send me an email directly at david at campaniolaw.com or above or below, there's a direct link right to my schedule. Schedule a time. I'd be so happy to talk to you and answer any and all of your questions and concerns. Um, as always, my name is David Campanile. I'm the owner of Campanile Law, located in the state of New Jersey. We handle estate planning and probate. Oh, if you found this video informative or helpful, please hit the like button. Please share this to peop, uh, share this out there. I bet there uh, you may know someone who's going through estate planning or has some questions maybe about a trust. If um, So again, my name is David Campanile. I'm the owner of Campanile Law, located in the state of New Jersey. We handle estate planning and probate.